All right, today we are solving a system of equations, and we're going to do it in two different ways, using algebra and by graphing. Now notice, our system of equations here, one of them is in slope-intercept form, the other one is in standard form. All right, but the way we solve this using algebra isn't that much different than if they were both in slope-intercept form. We're going to use substitution, and here's why. Because our first equation has y equals all this stuff, so we know y is equal to all of this, what we can do is substitute all this stuff in for y in the second equation there. Since we know y equals 2x minus 8, we're going to replace y in the second equation with 2x minus 8. All right? So let me write down what I mean. So instead of writing 2x minus 3y, I'm going to write 2x minus 3, and instead of y, all that stuff y equals, and that equals 12. All right, so all I did was rewrite that second equation, replacing y with what the stuff, what y equals, okay? But notice, now we have an algebra equation with just x's that we can actually solve for, to find the value of x, okay? So let's do that. All right, so I'm going to use the distributive property here because we have a bunch of stuff in parentheses, so let's go 2x, negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x, negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. Now I need to simplify this a bit. I've got x's on the same side. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x. All right, and look at this. This equation is pretty easy to solve, right? We're going to subtract 24 on both sides. When we do that, the 24s undo each other. Negative 4x is equal to negative 12. Last step, divide both sides by negative 4. And negative 4s undo each other. x equals positive 3. All right. So we got x. Now don't forget, we're not done. We still need to find the value of y. And to find the value of y, we're going to use the fact that we know x equals 3. And technically, you could plug x equals 3 into either one of these equations, but that top equation is going to be the easiest one because we want to know what y equals, and that top equation tells you what y equals. So let's do that now. y equals 2 times x minus 8. So y equals 2 times whatever x is, and we just found what x is. x is 3. So we're going to do y equals 2 times 3 minus 8 from that first equation. And whatever that is, that's going to be our y value. All right, let's see what that is. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 minus 8 is negative 2. So we just found the y value, negative 2. So our solution is x is 3, y is negative 2. All right, boom, there it is. So that's how you would do it using algebra. Let's talk about how to do it using graphing this time, okay? So all we need to do is graph these two equations, and wherever the two lines intersect will be the solution to the system. And it should be the same as what we just found, but let's try it. y equals 2x minus 8. Negative 8 is my y-intercept. So on the y-axis, here's negative 8, way at the bottom. My slope is 2, so that means I'm going to go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. All right, now I'm going to go all the way across the grid, and I'm going to use a straight edge to draw this in because I want this to be as accurate as possible because if I want to know where the two lines intersect, I don't want the lines to be crooked. Otherwise, I might get the wrong answer. All right, so there's the first one done. Second one. 2x minus 3y equals 12 is in standard form. So to graph this, I'm going to use the intercepts to figure that out. Okay, here's what I mean. For this one, if x was 0, that would make 2 times x 0, because 2 times 0 is 0. But negative 3 times what y value would equal positive 12? Negative 3 times negative 4 would equal positive 12. So there's one of the points on this line. So that right there is going to be my y-intercept. And then to find the x-intercept, I'll make y 0. So if 3 times, w 3 times y or 3 times 0 is 0, that would make that 0. So 2 times what gets me 12? 2 times 6 gets me 12. So that's my x-intercept. All right. So once I have those two points from my standard form equation, 
all I have to do is draw a line through them. And I'm going to have to draw it carefully because if I don't, I'm going to get the wrong answer when I look for the point of intersection. And look, the two lines intersect right there. And that point is 3, negative 2. And that's the solution to the system. And if you look, that's the exact same answer we got from using algebra. All right, so we were able to solve the system of equations in two different ways, algebra and graphing. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe, it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.